Hey guys, I am back with another video. I, um, so I apologize for not being consistent with videos this week. I have not been feeling well at all. Um, this week marks the, um, third month of, um, losing Isaiah and, um, it's just been, um, it's just been hard um and then physically i just haven't really been feeling well so um i've been just laying here a lot <laughs> um but i do have some news for you guys um exciting news so i'm not at the 100 subscribers yet that i wanted to before i shared this news but I'm close enough, so that is fine with me. Um, and I'm ready to share the news. So, there's going to be three parts to this. Um, and the first news is I got some more tattoos. So, pretty sure you guys peeped this tattoo right here. It's a little bruised, actually. This one hurt so bad. Always on my mind, forever in my heart. So, on Isaiah's... Um, on his stone that's um on his gravesite we put forever in our hearts um on it they allowed four words so that's what we picked um and i kind of got a little quote tattooed right there um this one is healing pretty good it actually looks really good um and then i also got two hearts my son and daughter's birthstone color uh, Channing and Kalani, so July and December, or July and January, um, and these are still healing as well. And then I had to get this one touched up. Um, this is the Isaiah's birthstone color, so yeah, I got more tattoos. So yeah, those are healing. Um, I do have a couple more tattoos that I want to get. Um, it's kind of like a therapy thing for me. Um, therapeutic. But, um, so that's part one. Um, part two is we are going on a vacation. Yay. Um, well, actually there's four parts to this, but yeah, so we are going on vacation. We are going to Florida and we leave next, not this coming Monday, but next week on the 15th. And we will be taking you guys along with us. We have lots of things planned. Um, my kids are really excited. We're going to be flying out and they are super excited. Um, and they never been, well, Channing was, he went on a plane once when he was like a month old. We had to fly out to see family. My husband was in the military. Um, and he was leaving for a couple of months and I was a new mom and I just wanted to be around my family. So we flew out here and stayed with my mom for a couple months um he did good he slept the whole time nobody even knew that he was on the plane um i had him in the little baby carrier thing like on my body and he slept the whole flight he didn't even wake up to eat or anything um so there's that uh we would definitely be documenting as much as we can my family actually just got back my husband went to go pick up the kids and go to the gym um and bring me some food um we are super excited for this vacation we really need it i'm taking my sisters with me well two of my sisters with me my other one has to work um and i do have more sisters on my dad's side um but unfortunately we don't talk that much i wish we did um but yeah so anyways getting off track off topic um yeah so vacation in a week so i've been you know trying to plan that out with the kids and just I don't know get them excited for it they talk about it all the time they're like are we going on the plane now are we going today when we wake up will we be going no no we got a week left um so I'm just excited we really really need this and yeah my kids are getting out the car um also the other part of this is my husband and I decided to sponsor a child. 
um we have been looking at um a, a few play like a few companies to do it through um we figured out one that we really like and we are going to take you guys on that journey with us so we decided to sponsor a child named isaiah um and there's quite a few out there named isaiah that uh, could definitely use sponsors um so pretty much what it is is you know you donate money to them each month um it's about forty dollars uh you can do more um but it goes to the child it goes for their education clothes food medical stuff um just things that they need daily um a lot of kids in third world countries um or that come from you know uh, poor families they have to take on responsibility of uh taking care of their siblings so their parents can work um and then they end up not you know being able to go to school not have education so forty dollars is not a lot of money um and we lost our baby isaiah but that doesn't mean that we cannot help another family and why not pay tribute to our son by um giving back to somebody else named isaiah um so we are excited to start that and we will be documenting that for you guys showing you guys the process and maybe one day some of you guys would like to do that they're walking in now you guys can hear my kids now. the last part of all of this is so um one of my um old co-workers reached out to me on facebook and um, they were they sent a link for a child, a local child that um, is in need of bone marrow. Um, and because of my ethnicity, she thought about me and like the situation that we went through and she was very sweet about it. Um, she said like, I don't want to offend you or anything. I don't want to make you feel any kind of way. I just thought that maybe this is something that you would want to do. Um, and so he needs bone marrow. So I went through Be A Match. Um, they had a little drive at a school nearby um, to do the swab. I documented that as well. And I will be making that into another video. I haven't heard anything back besides um, my DNA has been pro it's been processed. Um, they haven't said if I am a match or not. I definitely would like to donate if I can um, for somebody else in need and i just did a lot of research on it i talked to my husband about it and he is supportive he said if that's something that i really want to do he will support me and um you know i just feel like if i if god gave me good bone marrow and i'm willing to donate it why not um so i'm not I'm, i don't know anybody that has donated before but i um did a lot of research and i understand the process um I'm sure I don't understand everything, but I do understand it can be a long process. Um, and so I do understand all of that and I'm willing to. So we are just waiting to hear back from them pretty much to see. Um, it doesn't have to be that, that kid in particular. It can literally be anybody um, I'm willing to do that for. So that's exciting. I am excited to be giving back and to, you know, God spared my life. And if I can help where I can help, then I want to help. Um, as long as mentally I'm okay with it and physically I'm okay with it. And my husband is okay with it and it's something that I can do. Um, so we are going to be taking you guys on this adventure with us. Um, and I just wanted to share you guys, share that news with you guys. I'm super excited. Um, the legal stuff, I haven't heard anything back. But I did, my mom sent me a link. She figured out how I could file a complaint through the state where I live at. Um, and they do the investigation and then they update you on it. Um, so she sent me the link and I filled it out. You guys, I tried to do it on my phone at first and it, I accidentally clicked the wrong button after I typed up because they, they want you to explain literally everything. Um, with like a certain amount of words they give you like 3,000 words or something but I typed it all up and then I clicked the wrong button and it closed out of everything so I had to do it again and then I didn't even think it was gonna mess up again so like I didn't even copy it before I clicked submit and I clicked submit and then it didn't submit and then it was all erased so I pulled out my laptop to do it 
and I typed it all up and I still didn't copy it um and it didn't submit <laughs> so I had to type it up about four or five times before I realized like let me copy this first and then submit it so finally that worked and then I got the confirmation for that so I will keep you guys updated on that as well and um yeah so I am going to be sharing um you know like how we prepare for a trip with the big family and just little vlogs um things that we do out there so you guys can come on our vacation with us through video <laughs> um yeah so that's pretty much the update for this week as far as like the news that i have to share with you guys um and the update on the legal stuff mentally i am hanging in there still like i said this week this time of each month is always so hard for me because you know it's the fifth the memorial of everything and you know i don't um intentionally think about oh the fifth is coming it'll be like the fourth at you know 12 in the morning or not even 12 in the morning. it'll be like seven o'clock or something in the evening and i will start to just get really sad and i'm like dang he literally does this you guys i don't understand. he barks in every video he didn't bark all day all day um but yeah so i um don't even remember what i was talking about hmm, what was i saying i really don't remember what i was talking about guys one thing that um I've been dealing with also is um really bad memory loss um like it'll be on my mind I'm like okay I'm about to go ask my husband this or something and I'll go and I'm like you know what I don't even remember what I called you for um but yeah oh I was talking about the fifth um yeah it's not like I intentionally think about it it's just it happens and then I get really sad and I'm like, you know what? And then I'll get on my phone and then I'll peep that it's the fifth or that it's the fourth. And I'm just like, wow, it's like my body knows or my spirit knows, you know? So I can't wait until I don't get that kind of reminder. Um, every fifth, I just want to remember my baby. I, you know, think about him all the time and I just, want it to be like that so yeah i don't want to have a whole entire sad week at the beginning of each month um but i am still hanging in there i'm here um so yesterday my husband took me out we did a double date with some close friends of ours and um, we went to this game place and we did like um race cars and we did um i don't know how to explain it it's like a 3d game you just like shoot monsters and stuff um but it was fun though and then we went out to eat so that's what we did yesterday so yeah that's pretty much all i have for you guys right now so stay tuned for all of our traveling vlogs coming up and um literally everything else that we have this week make sure you guys check me out on tiktok i did start my tiktok channel thanks to my lovely husband and my kids god mom they encouraged me to start one and i finally did it and um yeah it's actually turning out pretty good so i have a lot of people reaching out to me on there and telling me their stories and stuff like that so yeah i'm excited for just whatever God has in store for us, honestly. Continue to follow our story, share, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I've been doing a lot of projects and I can't wait to be done and share them with everybody. So make sure you guys go check out my husband's music. If you guys like Christian, like hip hop, rap, he, he does a lot of different um, like, varieties i don't know how to explain it like some some of the songs he's singing and he's rapping and he got a lot of projects coming out as well aaron page music 
um so that's all i have um so yeah this is my pictures of my baby boy isaiah um so anyways guys i will see you guys in my next video bye oh also forgot quote of the day so quote of the day comes from my husband i don't know who actually wrote the quote but he um always says don't throw balls at glass houses what does that mean to you guys leave it down below bye love is my turning we all need the sweetest word